we have the product rule to compute the derivative of a product of two functions. You may have seen this rule in high school. In this video, we will revise the rule, prove it, and introduce some notation that might be new to you. So what's a product rule? If you have a product of two functions, f of g, f of x times g of x, then the product rule is that the derivative of f times g equals differentiate f times g plus leave f and differentiate g. Or you may be more familiar with this notation, f times g prime equals f prime times g plus f times g prime. So how do we prove this? And then we will see an example. So we use the definition, the ddx of f times g. What do we need to do? We have a limit h to 0 and divide by x of f times g at x plus h minus f times g at x. And now we will uh, rewrite this expression, this f times g at x plus h minus f times g at x. We will add 0 in between minus f of x times g at x plus h plus f of x times g of x plus h. Seems a bit silly, but okay, we can add 0. And then for these two terms here, we can factor out the g of x plus h. And what we are left with is f at x plus h minus f of x divided by h. And then for the second two terms, we can factor out f of x, which the common factor, and we are left with g at x plus h minus g of x over h. Now, if we do so, then in order to get our derivative, we have to take the limit. So the limit of these terms, so this limit, these terms go over here. Then we again use the sum rule for limits. If both limits exist, then the limit of the sum equals the sum of the limits. So that's what we do over here. Uh, then uh, we can use the, the product rule for limits, like the, the limit of a product equals the product of limits if both exist. So we have the limit of g at x plus h minus, uh, sorry, times this other limit goes here. And the f of x can over here can just be taken in front of the limit. And if you take limit h to 0, we have g prime over there, dg dx. And now finally, we can take both limits here. Taking h to 0 just gives us g of x. And taking h to 0 over there gives us tf dx. So what we have is the uh, ddx of f times g equals df uh, dx times g plus f times dg dx. So there we have the proof. So how does this work in this explicit example? Also using the notation we often use. So if you have x squared plus 5 times e to the power x, so we have a product of x squared plus 5 times e to the power x, What's the ddx of that? What's the derivative of that? Well, we differentiate the first part and leave the second term, plus leave the first part and differentiate the second term. So what we get, differentiating this gives us 2x times e to the power x, and differentiating here just gives us e to the power x times x squared plus 5. So that is how we use the product rule.